Welcome back, friends. We are... We just centered Londinian and immediately got attacked by a Terramorph. So... Just be quick. Alright. Get to the bottom of this. Percival, Kaiser's got the cell data from the new Atlantis and Tau Ceti attacks, right? Uploaded them myself. Captain, let Kaiser take a look at that sample. Beginning analysis. It is a match. This suggests with high certainty that the Lazarus plant was used to trigger the attacks on both planets. Uh, there's no way a plant this rare, this fragile, just shows up here, New Atlantis, and Tau Ceti. The transformations on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you Good. understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. I wonder where they could have gotten such an idea. Deploying alien life forms as weapons. I wouldn't be shocked to find out our team in part inspired the approach. But our group never dealt with something that could have an effect like this. Makes some sense, actually. Tau Ceti was likely their first test. Someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the cabinet to do something about the terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. It can't. At least, I didn't think it could. But maybe if we're right about this, someone found a way. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? There's all sorts of options here. Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. Let me do some looting, people. I was on my way somewhere. I thought I, saw, I did see a body. Is it bad to take from them? Probably. Oh, that, is that where we came in? You know what this is? This is where it all happens. There's nothing in there. Nothing good anyway. My keyboard just <laughs> my my D key stopped working. That's not good. Oh. <laughs> Are there 
the control panel. Still looks operable. Of all the things to survive. Yeah, I, my my D key's shot. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to get me a new keyboard. I can't even go right. Uh, oh well. Oh, that sucks. Oh, this is going to make it really difficult. Yeah, I can tell her. Copy available. An invisible weapon. He knew. He knew about the Lazarus plant. Grab that recording. We we should talk. Okay. Let's talk. I have something to tell you. Hey, Victus. He destroyed this place. Killed these people to keep what he knew about the Lazarus plant and the terror force and all this a secret. Then he... Looks that way. He said it all. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people condemned this city to keep them from sharing what they might have seen he was a, a monster was... I'm not gonna lie I didn't feel fuzzy and warm meeting him the first time so I really think he is a uh... to describe
of what happened here. Someone who truly knows what it means to command, to be in charge of, and responsible for others would never do such a thing. He decided to sentence his own soldiers to death. What kind of commander is that? But I guess... I guess that's just another part of his sick legacy now. He thought he was protecting us all, taking the secret to his grave. Only he didn't succeed. Now someone else knows about the Lazarus plant and is using it exactly how he feared. Now's not the time to joke like that, all right? No, that's, that's insane. He died. They executed him. They, they faked his death? My entire unit, they threw us all to the wolves, but kept him? And now he's, what, an advisor? Commanding the fleet in secret? What was so important that they had to keep him alive? Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure they did. They invested so much in him over the years. Even grew him an entire family he didn't want. Saint Victus? Alive? After all this time? So his execution was what, a lie? A cover-up? Incredible. Just incredible. I guess it makes sense, though, doesn't it? The UC of that era only created me because they were afraid of a world without Saint Victus in command. Why would they get rid of him? As long as I live, I'll never understand the loyalty that old bastard elicited. But wait, if my father's alive and knew about the Lazarus plant, what do you think the chances are he was involved in the attacks? I mean, I think they're high. Good point. Deal with one monster at a time. Let's go get that final sample. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I was trying to say, sounds like a guy in a tough situation just to keep her from freaking out, but I think I made her freak out. Hope that did anything.
figured once it was dead, it would stop. They would stop attacking. I was hoping, anyway. Good. Now just stash that sample with Kaiser, and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. frantic on the comms towards the end there but it sounded like this was a success i think so Not everything we Maybe. need to put this plan in motion Maybe. can't be positive until we run some tests but knowing that the terramorphs have been masquerading as heat leeches all this time is a big fine arguably makes things more feasible now that we know what we're dealing with not less Agreed. Plus, I don't think you're gonna have to push real hard to get folks on board with cleaning up one of the galaxy's greatest pests if this is what they're capable of. But none of that's getting done without the samples. You do have them, right? Ah, uh, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vey Victus knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. I'm sorry, what? She's pulling my leg, right? Hadrian? I don't believe she is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Ve Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Good. We'll all meet back at mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. Ooh, got some money. Okay, so... That... Is very interesting. Well, friends, thanks for joining me on this episode. Our last episode, we learned about the Terramorphs, where they possibly all come from. They evolve from the heat leeches. Heat leeches attached to ships. Ships travel the, the different planets. The heat leeches come off. Therefore, the heat leeches can exist everywhere. What causes them to turn into Terramorphs, I do not know, but sounds like a really bad thing. We'll figure out what happens in the next several parts of the quest and uh, how we deal with it. I hope you uh, are still with me, and I hope that you like and subscribe, leave me some comments, and I really would love it if you come back for the next episode. Until then, you all take care. Have a good night. Bye.